Bonjour Sébastien, bonjour Valérie. Uh, this is a recording of uh, the last uh, session on Friday, vendredi. You're going to have to excuse me. Um, didn't really see too much lately, too much work, and uh, I'm going to really, really, really try my best to not yawn too much. I know I'm going to yawn, so, but you have to forgive me. So, the last time we talked about Noël, Christmas, Joyeux Noël, Merry Christmas, and les crêpes. So, les crêpes, in French, French uh, pronunciation, we have the recipe here for four persons, pour quatre personnes, five stars, okay, 1022 feedbacks or comments, ingredients, ingredients, les ingredients, because it's plural, there is an S, 250 grammes de farine, flour, 4 oeufs for eggs, 1 demi-litre de lait, half a liter of milk, une pincée de sel, is tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of salt, 2 cuillères à soupe, is like a uh, tablespoon, is like a soup spoon, as we call them uh, in, uh, in French, 2 cuillères à soupe de sucre, it's like 2 tablespoons of sugar, 50 grammes de beurre fondu is fi uh, 50 grams of melted butter. Beurre is butter. Fondu, melted. So we see in French, butter melted. It's not difficult at all. It takes 10 minutes to do it. Cooking it 15 minutes. It depends how many crepes you want to make. And total 25 minutes. I disagree. Because every time I make crepes, even for four persons, it takes longer than you know, 15 minutes of cooking. You have the video, it's in French, of course. They explain everything, we don't need to go through everything. You just have to, to mix all the different ingredients in the same container. You keep the dough for an hour or, or two in the fridge, and after you can start making the crepes. It's not a pancake, so it has to be thin. And um, it's one recipe among so many different recipes, French recipes, okay? But this one works well. You can add, you know, uh, Nutella, um, honey, sugar, jam, whatever you want. There are two kinds of crepes, salty and sweet. So, salty, salé, sweet, sucré. So, let's get back to uh, the transcript. An arbre de Noël is a Christmas tree. It's a tree of Christmas. It's what we say in French, Christmas tree. Uh, there is also the king's. In January so my daughter because uh, she has a Mexican father we're gonna celebrate Merry, uh, Christmas and the Kings so she's gonna have a huge collection of toys avec vous with you avec toi with you informal for me pour moi for you pour toi for me pour moi for you pour toi pour vous okay so it can be um, how can I say it can be informal or formal. This is a big review. I just wanted to check if uh, you guys remembered everything we did so far. Je suis désolé, I'm sorry. Mais, but, I'm sorry, but it is not very comfortable. Je suis désolé, mais ce n'est pas très confortable. The words ending in a or y, we know how to, what to do. They become r, a, i, r, e. We saw that. Vocabulary, vocabulaire, military, militaire, and so forth. It is necessary. C, it is. C, C apostrophe est. Nécessaire. I would like to speak French with you. Je voudrais parler français avec vous, avec toi. I'd like to eat with you. Eat, hein? E A T, hein? it's just a, a computer was set to use French. If I write in English, the computer doesn't know what to do. Je voudrais manger avec vous, avec toi. I'd like to eat with you. Je voudrais manger avec vous, avec toi. Tonight, ce soir. Do you want to eat? Again, huh? it's E-A-T. Uh, e with me tonight? Do you want to eat with me tonight? Voulez-vous ou veux-tu manger avec moi ce soir? Where do you want to eat tonight? Où voulez-vous manger ce soir? 
ou veux-tu manger ce soir? I'd like to know where it is. To know is savoir. I'd like, je voudrais savoir where, où c'est. Je voudrais savoir où c'est. Quelque chose is something. I'd like to eat something. Je voudrais manger quelque chose. Okay. Je voudrais manger quelque chose. Yeah. J'ai faim. J'ai faim. I am hungry. Now, maintenant. J'ai faim maintenant. I'm hungry now. The same thing, la même chose. I'd like to eat the same thing. Je voudrais manger la même chose. Ok. Uh, what did we, oh yeah, we talked about the food. You guys like to eat a lot. Rice. The um, rice with tomato sauce. It's the way they cook it in Mexico is different. It's very good. Um, it's very simple, but you know the Italian way is different. Uh, French way is different. We don't necessarily add tomato sauce. It can be plain and we add different things. We cook the rice with other things after. Be careful of the words ending in ENCE or CE. Différence, as in all feminine. <coughs> La différence, une différence. Their difference, a difference. Préférence, la préférence. Words ending in ION are all feminine as well. They're all the same, pronounced differently. Um, une opinion, ION, EON. Une opinion, it's like the opinion. L'opinion. We start with L apostrophe because the word starts with a vowel. So we're not going to say la opinion, we're going to say l'opinion. We don't pay attention to the genre when there is an apostrophe like. Uh, um, L'importance, the importance. So it doesn't matter if it's feminine or masculine, if the noun starts with a vowel on H for that. There are three exceptions to this rule the ION uh, feminine nouns and uh, having a similar meaning and a similar pronunciation. Well, we have a translation, une traduction, an explanation, une explication, vacation, les vacances. So, une traduction is feminine. Une explication est féminine. Vacation is always plural in French. Les vacances. To spend the vacation, passer les vacances. So be careful of do you want, voulez-vous, veux-tu, and do you have, avez-vous, or as-tu, avez-vous, as-tu. Do you have an opinion, avez-vous, or as-tu une opinion. We saw something new. What kind of? What sort of? The transition is quelle sorte de? So it's closer to what sort of. Okay? Quelle sorte de? What kind of? Plus a noun. Reservation. Do you have? What kind of? Quelle sorte de? Reservation. Avez-vous? As-tu? Okay. We reviewed also the place of the adjective next to the noun. The transition in French. So if we have something like the political and economical situation, it's uh, economical, not economic, seeing that the transcript is uh, okay, but not perfect. So the political and economical situation, I check the noun, the position of the, of the noun, okay, it's here, situation, la situation, ends with the ION. So la situation, politique, all the words ending in C-A-L uh, become Q-U-E, la situation politique et économique. Okay. In France, en France. In the United States, aux États-Unis. There's a liaison here. Aux États-Unis. C'est florian. Au Mexique. Okay. We saw also uh, different adjectives. Masculine, féminine, and florian. Petit, small, short. Masculine, singular. Petite, petit. Petite, so petit is masculine singular. Petite, feminine singular. Petit with an S is masculine ployon. And petite, we don't pronounce the S. Petite, it's feminine ployon. Trop, it's two, T-O-O, -O, not the number two. Hein. C'est trop petit, it's too small, it's too short. C is more like um, an object, something. Il est trop petit. 
can talk about an object as well, but it's more of um, uh, a person. But we cannot, because everything has a genre in French, so we can talk about a pants, which is singular in French. So, le pantalon est trop petit. Il est trop petit. So, I replace a pants with il, he. Because we say he is too small. But I'm talking about the pants because the pants is masculine, singular in French. Tard is late. Plus tard, later. Okay. So, if we want to say too late, Trop tard. Okay. It's too late, c'est trop tard. Later, plus tard. It is very late, c'est très tard. Okay, so be careful not, not confusing trop with and, and très. Too, T-O-O, très, uh, trop, sorry, trop, T-O-O, très, very. So now we can add whatever adjective, adjectives we want. You can say très grand, very tall, very big. Trop grand, too tall, too big. Okay? C'est très grand, trop grand. It's too big, c'est trop grand. After we have fast. Fast is vite. That can also be, be rapide. Rapido. Okay? Instead of the O, we have a, we have a I ending the word. The word. So fast, vite. Too fast, trop vite. Very fast, très vite. It is too fast, c'est trop vite. Very fast, très vite. Faster is plus vite. It is too fast for me, c'est trop vite pour moi. It is too late for me, c'est trop tard pour moi. You speak too fast for me, you speak too fast for me. So, if we want the formal version, vous parlez, trop vite pour moi, okay? Parler trop vite pour moi. Or, tu parles une fois moins. Tu parles trop vite pour moi. You are going too fast for me. Vous allez, vous allez, vous allez. Let me just write it down. It's going to be. Ah non, it's here. Vous allez trop vite. Or, tu vas une fois moins. Fois moins une fois moins. Vous allez, tu vas trop vite pour moi. Vous allez trop vite pour moi. Or, tu vas trop vite pour moi. It is very good. Good is bon. C'est très bon. It is too good, c'est trop bon. Vous parlez trop vite pour moi. You speak too fast for me. I'd like to know if it is so good, if it's si. I would like to know, je voudrais savoir. To know if, si, si, c'est si bon. So here we have if. And too good, but I didn't write it down here. Yes, I said uh, I would like to know if it is so good. So is also uh, trop, trop bon, très bon. It depends the context. But let's keep it simple here. I would like to know if it is good. Je voudrais savoir si c'est bon. Okay. Why? Pourquoi? I would like to know why it is good. Je voudrais savoir pourquoi c'est bon. Now we have. Different adjectives and their um, the adverb. So logically, in English, you take the the adjective, you add ly, and you get an ad, uh, adverb. It's to precise the action of the verb. So normal, normal, normally, normalement. Okay. So the ly in French becomes l e m e n t. General, général, generally, généralement with the accent. Animal, animal, special, special. It is very special. C'est très special. So the adverb especially is especially, spécialement. So we're not going to say especialement in French. Spécialement. Possibly, possiblement. Okay. So we just replace ly by l e m e n t. À la semaine prochaine. Well, uh, see you tomorrow. Um, we'll continue to do my method, we'll talk about the grammar, and we're going to this time try to have a conversation, okay? So, using my method, you will be able to make more and more uh, sentences to learn faster. I still need to, a structure for you to, to not feel like for an hour it's loose, it's not really structured. 
uh, I have to combine uh, stru structure and uh, the natural method. You have a wonderful evening, wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Let me know if uh, tomorrow is going to be very challenging to, to have the class earlier. I know you guys all will be on vacation soon, but you still go to school uh, up to 4 p.m., I believe. So this 5 well, tomorrow's gonna be hard. Uh, probably like 5 p.m. we can try. And uh, that's where you guys can not fall asleep in front of your screen. And me neither. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Au revoir, à bientôt.